It's always fun to shop local, but what goes into creating those products? The Valley Today's Abby Furcher joins us live this morning from the Family Roots Farm. Good morning, Abby. I think that's you in there. Good morning. Yeah, good morning, Lisa and Jordan. I think this is so much fun because now we're, the weather is cooperating right now and we're able to show you a little bit more of Family Roots Farm and I'm here with Jen Skoog and this is actually where your honey comes from. So when people buy your honey local, this is where it's at. This is exactly where it comes from. We've got six hives. We've got three of them right here with us today. So yeah, we, this is where all the magic happens. And so what kind of made you want to get uh, local beehives. What kind of enticed that? Well, it's funny because I actually visited a farm, Noreen Thomas, a Dowdy Time farm um, up north of Moorhead, and I happened to be visiting, and the beekeeper was there and said, here, dip your finger right in this fresh honey right out of the comb, and I fell in love with it. So I said, that's it. We're getting bees. So how is this honey different than the honey that you might buy at a store? So our honey is raw, unfiltered honey, which means that when I take the frame out, it goes in the extractor, spins around, wow. it comes out and goes straight into the jar. Um, we strain it a little bit to get all the little bee parts out and uh, chunks of wax. But other than that, all the nectar, all the honey, everything's in there and it's not heat treated. And when we made the rhubarb butter earlier this morning, we actually used some of that local honey here from Jen's farm and it was absolutely delicious. So this is just one reason why it's so important to buy local and why it always just tastes a little bit better because you know exactly where it's coming from. How cool. Abby Furchner reporting live for us this morning. Thank you.